guys, what's up? Welcome to HDN Tech. So Qualcomm is going to launch their Snapdragon 865 Plus. First, those of you who don't know what Snapdragon is, Snapdragon is a mobile processor by Qualcomm. Qualcomm is a US-based company which creates processor and other wireless technology services. Snapdragon is a tiny chipset of this size on your smartphone which runs your smartphone. Basically, it's not just a processor like Intel i3, i5, i7 on your computers. It has GPU driver, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth inside so it's called a chipset. Probably you can find Snapdragon in every OnePlus phones, Google phones, some Xiaomi phones, Samsung phones and every smartphone company will have at least one smartphone with Snapdragon. The number here is their chipset models like 835, 845, 765, 660 etc. The 8 series is their flagship level series of processors which you will only find in all OnePlus phones till now, Samsung S series and Note series and so on. Now there are other smartphone manufacturing, smartphone processor manufacturing companies like Samsung has their own Exynos, MediaTek which you will find in some Xiaomi and Oppo phones, Kirin which you will find in Huawei phones and then Apple. But Snapdragon is the more, it's like the most optimized chipset among Android devices. Also you can check my M31 unboxing and first look video link right here. So what's 865 plus? Especially what's the plus thing? So this all started a long ago. In 2018 Asus made a gaming phone the ROG phone which had Snapdragon 845. So after the success of ROG phone which was actually a good phone many gaming smartphones came out like the Razer phone, the Xiaomi Black Shark. So Asus asked Qualcomm to make a different processor to stand apart as basically they just want everything bumped up and overpacked. So Qualcomm in 2019 came up with 855 plus which was the successor of 855. The plus thing here is just overclocked. Now Qualcomm has been launching their regular 855 and 865 processors in the first half of the year and the plus variants in the second half or the third quarter of the year. And finally, Qualcomm is breaking the barrier and giving prime core clock speed of 3.1 GHz in Snapdragon 865 Plus, which is very powerful. Well, both 865 and 865 Plus has X55 5G modems with 5th generation AI engine, which can do good image processing. For instance, it can now detect your skin, hair and background and differentiate accordingly to have a good image processing with HDR10 plus colors. It has enhanced colors and contrast and has good dynamic metadata to have good dynamic range and up to 144 FPS of GPU drivers with true 10-bit HDR gaming. The GPU drivers are updatable. You can literally update the GPU driver in Play Store when the update arrives. So that's a good thing. You can shoot 8K and 4K which you have already seen in Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. When shooting 4K 30fps, you can take a 64 megapixel still shot simultaneously which is a good thing. It has the capacity of 200 megapixel camera sensor. We can shoot slow motions at 960f frames per second which is incredibly slow and clear and with no time limits. So what's new in 865 plus? Like what stands 865 plus apart from 865? 1. 3.1 GHz prime core clock speed which is 10% faster. Adreno 650 GPU which is again 10% faster which allows faster graphic rendering for gaming. But the actual results will be known when we'll get to taste it like hands on. Qualcomm Fast Connect 6900 with Wi-Fi 6E of Wi-Fi speed 3.6 Gbps up to 3.6 Gbps which is very high and Bluetooth 5.2 with better connectivity. Now which phones are coming out with 865 plus in 2020? So Asus have confirmed that it will be the first to have 865 plus in 2020 which is ROG Phone 3 which is launching 22nd July. 
then Lenovo is launching their new gaming phone Lenovo Legion it will have it and who knows might be Note 20 and might be OnePlus 8T and 8T Pro when it comes out okay then like the video and share it subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon and tell me which videos do you want me to make in future in the comment box follow me on instagram twitter and facebook and thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next one